Hey everyone, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. And today I'm actually gonna be reviewing a handbag that I got gifted as a Christmas present from my family. So I'm really, really grateful for this. And I'm gonna be reviewing today the Kira Chevron camera bag from Tory Burch. And I love this bag so much. I think it's so beautiful and so classy and I can't wait to show you guys the bag. But first of all, this is the dust bag that it came in. And it's a really sturdy, lovely dust bag. And I really like this kind of hippie print around it. I think it gives it something different that other um, designer dust bags don't have. And again, it's a really thick, sturdy dust bag. And inside is the beautiful camera bag. Now the colour of this bag is called Rainwater Blue and I honestly think that describes it so so well because it's kind of a cross between a light blue and also a grey colour and I think it can look different in different lightings so I've definitely seen it where it looks very very light blue and um, other times it can look just like a proper grey bag but be aware if you do want to get this colour that it does change it is quite versatile but it can also look different in different lighting so if you don't really like that then that's something to watch out for but as you can see it's just so so beautiful i love the detailing it's got this signature tory birch chevron print and also the beautiful Tory Burch logo. And this hardware is actually called dark gold hardware. So I actually like it so much more than your shiny gold. It's more of like a brass color and I think it's so gorgeous. If you've watched my review on the YSL Small Lulu bag, it's kind of the same kind of gold as that. And this is the crossbody strap and it's not detachable so it's stuck to the bag but I actually think this is my favourite way of wearing the bag as a crossbody so I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks on me but first of all I really really like how half of it is a chain and half of it is a leather strap because I think it gives it the versatility of wearing it during the day as a casual bag and during the evening as a classy going out bag and I actually think it works for either way you want to wear it and I actually think it is big enough for an everyday bag, depending on how much stuff you want to carry, of course. But it fits all of my essentials, and I'll be showing you that later in the video as well. But first of all, I'm going to put the bag on so you can see what it looks like on me crossbody. This is how it comes up on me as a crossbody bag. And I think it's quite a nice length for the bag. And if you do want to wear it as a shoulder bag, you have that option as well. And this is what it looks like as a shoulder bag. So as you can see, it comes down quite significantly lower as a shoulder bag. So I'm going to be showing you guys what fits in this handbag. So I'm going to be opening the zip. And just a quick one on the zip. It's kind of a plain little um, tag here. And I actually think if they had used the signature Kira logo and put it somewhere on the zip, it would have made it look a bit more classy. I think this does kind of make the bag look a bit cheaper, but it's not too big a deal because everything else about the bag looks so classy and sophisticated. I just wish they kind of made a bit more effort with the zip here. So that's one downside that I'd mention. But I'm gonna open up the bag. And I love how this is just like a one simple zip and that's all you need to do. And I feel like it's actually a bit more sturdy than a um, pop open bag. And inside the bag, it looks like this. It's a fabric liner, so it's not all leather or anything. And it does have a couple of compartments. So it's got the zip inside, which to be honest, I'm never gonna use. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fit much in there at all. And it's kind of just gonna annoy me. <laughs> and also it has on the front, a little compartment here it's again i'm probably not going to use those compartments because they are very small i don't really see myself fitting anything essential in there anyway so i'm just going to put all my stuff in the main compartment and it actually fits more than you think it's going to fit so i'm going to show you guys what it fits exactly so i've got a mid-size purse and i actually like to use a mid-size purse a lot of people my age tend to just use card holders but for me i actually have quite a lot of stuff that i want to put in my purse so and i like to carry a bit of cash so i like to use a mid-size purse and as you can see which is perfect that the mid-size purse does actually fit really nicely in the bag and then i'm actually recording on my iphone so i've got a phone that's about the same size as a normal iphone and as you can see it fits in the bag really well as well and then i've got my car keys 
which fit in the bag as well and the car keys do fit really well in there as well and then i've got a mask and i can pop the mask in there as well and finally i've just got a lipstick just so i can show you another thing that fits in my bag um and it fits all very nicely in there i can probably fit a little hand sanitizer in there as well but i don't have one with me to show at the moment but as you can see you can get quite a lot in the bag that you may not expect to and then if i just dip up the bag so i can show you everything fits really nicely and it's a little bit puffed up but i actually quite like that because i feel like the bag's going to keep its shape better if i fit it so I actually do know the price of this bag because before I was looking at getting it anyway for myself. So I think the original price was £335, but my family actually managed to get it for £238 because it was a 30% discount. And I would definitely say wait until there is a discount because there's always a discount on Tory Burch for most of their stuff, especially the kind of different colours that are more seasonal. If you want to get it in black, I actually don't think it gets discounted, but definitely these kind of colours like reds, pinks, that kind of thing, any colour that's a bit out there um, will get discounted at some point. So I definitely recommend getting it at a discounted price. However, I definitely think that the price point for this kind of bag is definitely worth it because most of the designer bags, especially the camera bags, can be quite expensive. The Saint Laurent camera bag is um, at least a thousand pounds now. So if you're looking for something more in the mid-range, but you still want it to look high-end, I definitely think Tory Burch is a great brand to do that. And overall, I'm super, super happy with this bag. I'm definitely glad that I got it in this colour because there were two that I was debating. I was debating this one and I was debating the beigey pinky kind of colour. I think it was called Sand on the website. But I'm so, so glad I got this because it looks, believe me guys, it looks even nicer in person than it does on camera. And yeah, I'm super happy with it. You can get a little card holder on Tory Burch to match, which I think is really, really cute. I'm going to hold off on that at the moment because like I said, I do like using a purse at the moment and I do like having some cash to hand so I will be continuing using a purse but what I think is great is the amount of space that this bag can give you whilst still looking like a little small bag that you would take on a night out and thank you guys so much for watching my review please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well and I will see you guys next time